In this video, Arduino library is created for I2C sensor AM2320 to display temperature and humidity on different screens. To learn how to program sensor AM2320 using assembly language, please refer to my previous tutorial. A link to that tutorial is available in the video description. Before we create a library, let's see how we can program the I2C device using C++ and assembly. In this sketch, we are including assembly function prototypes, which are defined inside the S file. Inside the S file, we have assembly subroutines. We begin with I2C initialization, which is used to set the serial clock frequency to 100 kilohertz and also to enable the I2C circuitry. I2C start will generate the start condition. I2C write uh, will enable the microcontroller to send a byte to the slave device. I2C stop will generate the stop condition. I2C read will enable the microcontroller to read a byte from the sensor. I2C read with no acknowledgement is similar to I2C read, but here the microcontroller after reading the byte will send a no acknowledgement pulse to the sensor. We also have some delay functions or subroutines. We have delay 2 milliseconds and subroutine delay 2 seconds. Back inside the C++ sketch and within the setup function, this function will initialize the I2C of the microcontroller. Inside the loop function, this function will wake up the AM2320 center from sleep mode. Inside function wake up sensor, first we send the start condition and then we send the write address of AM2320 and then we send the stop condition. Back inside the loop function and after function wake up sensor, this function will send the function code command to AM2320 which will enable us to read temperature and humidity from the sensor. Inside write function code, we send the start condition and then we send the I2C write address of the sensor and then we send the function code which is read data register. Next we send this value which indicates the start address of the data register and then we send this value in order to indicate the number of registers to read from and then we end the transmission with the stop condition. Back inside the loop function and after we execute write function code we apply a delay of 2 milliseconds and then this function will read the humidity and temperature from the sensor. Inside function read sensor data we begin the transmission with the start condition then we send the read address of the AM2320. First we read the function code and then we read the number of registers. Next we read the high byte humidity and save it into a variable. Then we read the low byte humidity and save it. Next we read the high byte temperature and save the value. Then we read the low byte and save the value. Finally we read the low byte of the CRC and then we read the high byte CRC value and also send the no acknowledgement pulse. We end the transmission with the stop condition. Back inside the loop function and after we acquire the temperature and humidity bytes through this function here, we generate the 16-bit humidity value and then we generate the 16-bit temperature value. Keep in mind that these two values are 10 times the actual value. So we need to divide by 10 and then generate the temperature in floating point and the humidity floating point. Once we do that we can then use the serial monitor to display the 
temperature in Celsius and humidity as percentage. And then we apply a delay of two seconds and repeat the process. Now we look at creating a library for the AM2320 sensor. This diagram shows the folder structure of the library. This is the folder of our library AM2320 sensor which contains the examples folder and the source file, header file and the S file. The header file is used to declare a class which will contain both public and private members while the source file will be used to define these members and the S file will contain assembly code that will be called from within the source file. Inside the header file we define this class and within the public members we declare the constructor and we declare four methods which are defined within the source file and within the private section we declare these global variables. Inside the source file and after we include the created header file we declare these function prototypes which link to subroutines written in assembly and found inside the S file. After we define the constructor next we define the public methods. We begin with method initialize which will call this assembly subroutine to initialize the I2C of the 80 Mega328 microcontroller. Inside method read sensor bytes, first we wake up the sensor from sleep mode. Then we write the function code in order to point to the data register of the sensor. Next we read and store the humidity and temperature bytes. And then we compute the 16 bit temperature and humidity values. Finally these two methods will return the floating point value of both temperature and humidity. After we install the created library within the Arduino IDE we can have a look at the demo sketch which displays the temperature and humidity on the serial monitor. We include the created library and then we declare this object to the constructor. Within the setup function we initialize the I2C of the microcontroller and within the loop function this function will read the bytes from the sensor and then we can get the temperature in floating point and then the humidity in floating point and display it on the serial monitor. Apply a delay of two seconds and repeat the process. In a future video, a library will be created for FM Receiver Module TEA5767 to select and play local FM stations. Back into the music coming up in minutes here. Good morning. You're listening to Taz and Jim.